Hello and welcome back. This is Sandy with Sandy's Organized Chaos and this is my 71st vlog. Yes, my 71st vlog. <laughs> I just checked. <laughs> so welcome back. I'm so happy to see every single one of you. I hope you're having an amazing weekend so far. Now, if you guys remember last week we got, or I did um, four different designs up using my colors from my chaos box that I offer through my glitter shop. So today I'm going to apply some decals and those are really simple, you know, real quick, simple, you know, take no time. But the other thing that I wanted to try out today is I wanted to do up some pens. You guys know doing the pens is, is pretty hot right now, but I wanted to try using UV resin. I've seen this pretty much all over the place. I wanted to give it a try. I wanted to see how easy it is. And along with those decals that I'm gonna be showing you guys today, I had gotten some pen wraps as well. I just got kind of like a mix. Like I didn't know what I was getting. It was like a mystery mix pretty much of pen wraps and I wanted to try them out. So I headed off to the store, I got some pens and we're gonna try that out today as well. So that's pretty much what we're doing today on this vlog. So you guys know my vlogs are just a place where we come and we kind of experiment together. We do some things here and there. That's pretty much, pretty much what my vlogs are. And then I have my tutorials that I do during the week. So, but Sundays, this is just you and I hanging out, you know, <laughs> but you guys know that. <laughs> I don't have to remind you. All right, guys, but I am ready to wake up, prep those tumblers and the pens. So prep the tumblers and the pens and slay all day. Let's do this. Okay, so if you guys remember, I showed you all those decals from Gracefully Gracefully Created. There we go. Oh my goodness. <laughs> but I'll make sure to put her link down in the description box below. And you guys really wanted me to add this. If you're going to be salty, at least bring the tequila, whatever it said on there. You guys really wanted me to put that on this mix right here, which was Agenda and Pencil Box, if you guys remember. And I think it goes so well together. Now, I want to show you guys, it's okay to kind of cut your decals if you need to, to kind of form it around the shape of those curves. So I'm going to show you one really quick. Now, I could not decide between these two decals. Um, so I ended up just choosing the Whiskey Bent Hellbound one. I, I thought it went really well with it, but if you guys think it doesn't match well, let me know and I'll add the other one instead. But I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys. It's okay to kind of trim these decals up. I'm just gonna go as close as I can to the imaging and lettering and all that. And I'm gonna go ahead and dip in a little bit next to the skull as well. And I'm just gonna continue to kind of just cut as close as I can around it. But once I have this all cut apart, I'm gonna go ahead and lay it down onto my tumbler and I'm gonna see where it kind of starts to bend and where those creases start. And I notice they kind of start right in between, right where the B is and the H is. So I'm gonna go ahead and just trim those down like that. I'm gonna go ahead and peel that back off of my backing. I'm gonna be very careful not to try to touch that backing too much. You don't wanna leave your fingerprints on there. I'm going to go ahead and get that lined up really good and then I'm going to show you guys how easy it is just to make sure that it's going to be nice and smooth and there's not going to be any creases in it. But for the one off to the left there that says tequila on the bottom, I did the same exact thing. I literally just took slices right in between every single letter and the word tequila and then I just very randomly just kind of laid them down one by one just to make sure that they were going to stay smooth and against my tumbler. So as you see there, because I made those slits, I was ab very easily able to make sure it laid down and curved with that curve there. Okay, so those decals are done and they're ready for their epoxy. I still don't know about the whiskey one. I'm not sure, you guys let me know. And I don't know what to do with my gray and blue one yet. I haven't decided on that one yet. But those are done, so I'm gonna set those off to the side for now. And I'm gonna kinda show you these decals that I got uh, for pens. So there was all kinds, I think, I can't remember how many I got, I think 10, I, I can't remember. But I'm gonna end up using just four of those because I'm only gonna do four pens today. So the first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and take my pens apart. Um, I don't know if you guys have seen how to do pens or not. I'm, I'm going off the assumption that everybody has seen how to do pens and probably has done them. So, and again, this is a vlog, so. <laughs> but if you guys want me to do a full on tutorial on it, I'll, I'll do one, but I, I feel like everybody pretty much knows how to do these by now, so. 
<laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and take my pens apart. I'm gonna set them in my little tray here so that way I don't lose anything. Hopefully one of the kids doesn't come by and, and steal the insides. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and remove uh, that little uh, clip piece and trim it down really good. And then I'm gonna give them a good sanding. And then I'm gonna show you guys what I like to use when I spray paint and when I apply my, well, this is UV resin, so it's a little bit different, but it actually went a lot quicker and smoother this time. But I'll show you guys what I use to kind of prop those up while I'm in the middle of doing all that. All right, my pens are already all prepped there. I'll show you guys those in a second. I have my UV resin, I'm gonna use Agenda, and then I have my, my uh, UV light there, which I ended up just kind of taking them outside anyways to kind of let them dry, but I'll show you guys. So I had the box here that I just cut some X's into and it holds my pens really well. And I just stick pencils up inside of there. Fits really good, they don't go anywhere. I spray painted everything white and now we're ready to go ahead and start applying our glitters. So after I got my glove on, cause you wanna treat it, UV resin is just like any other resin. You still gotta be careful and wear your PBE. You guys know. Okay, anyways, I just added a very small amount of that UV resin right onto my pen. I'm gonna smooth that out really well. I'm gonna sprinkle my agenda right onto that pen. I'm gonna kind of hit it up a little, each one a little bit with my, my UV light there, just to kind of make sure that it sets up and, and stuff. But I'm actually gonna take it outside and let it cure the proper amount of time. I let them sit out in the sun for about 10 minutes and they were good to go after uh, they sat out there for a little bit and then we were ready to add that next coat of UV resin. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish these up really quick. just quite amazed like you guys will see in the end but I'm just so amazed at how quick it is to do it this way like I am just blown away <laughs> it's already ready for its uh, coat of uh, UV resin over top of the raw glitter so I'm going to go ahead and do that same exact process I'm going to get my UV resin going and I'm going to kind of hit it up with my UV light just a little bit just kind of get it so it stays still because I stand mine up in that little box to finish curing outside so I'm going to go ahead and finish applying this and then I'm going to hit it up like I said with my light and then let it finish kind of curing outside for about 10-15 minutes. All right, so they sat outside, I let them cure, and they are ready for their little decals that I have here. Now you could give them a little sanding if they need to and apply one more thin coat of your UV resin. Mine were very smooth, so I felt confident enough to move on to my decals because you definitely want a nice smooth surface when applying these so that way they have a, a nice smooth surface to stick to. So those are the four decals that I picked out. Extremely easy to do, and I'm gonna show you guys. Now, I did not check before I peeled this decal off. You don't have to cut it. <laughs> I thought I had to trim it, and you don't have to do that. <laughs> the image is exactly the, the size it needs to be. I don't know what I was doing there. You don't need to trim them, guys, okay? It, it's, I, I don't know. <laughs> so all you wanna do is just peel it right off, just like we did the other decals. You want to get that place down onto your pen and you just want to make sure that you smooth it out really well all the way around and that's it that's all you have to do so i'm just going to very simply finish applying all my little decals that i purchased here right onto my pens and then we'll be ready to add another coat of that uv resin right over top of these And here they are, aren't they so cute? How, it's just so easy. I just can't get over how easy this is. This was a perfect just little 
day project to kind of do something a little outside of tumblers kind of you know get past the monotony of just doing the same tumbler over and over again you know it's fun to kind of just kind of step out there and do something a little bit different sometimes you know but i'm gonna go ahead and put on these last coats of my uv resin and let them sit out in the sun and they're done now something i didn't notice until i was all done you guys will see in on my my ending here <laughs> I accidentally put um, some of those decals upside down. I didn't realize which way they needed to go. But again, these are for me. So <laughs> I'll know next time, right? Now you guys know. So make sure you put them the proper way uh, when you go to put them on your pens. You want, you want them the correct way, not upside down like I did. <laughs> well, that was really quick and simple, wasn't it? I have them right here. I, I mean, I can't believe how easy it was to get these done. Look at, I know, I, I bought the colored pen, pens, I'm sorry. They're for me, so. <laughs> I know the blue doesn't look very good on that. But I put the black, I made sure to put the black on the cow. And then the red I put on the, the mom one. I hope I didn't put that upside down. It's for me, I think I put it upside down. It's all good. <laughs> I put it upside down. <laughs> and then I used the green one for the, the witch's broom one. Oops. <laughs> They're upside down. But how cute. I mean, I pretty much got those done in like an hour. I mean, if you want to, just to really make sure that they're going to be nice and sealed. Because, I mean, just to make sure. Because UV resin, I don't know if it has the UV stabilizers in it. You know, so it doesn't turn yellow. I don't know. Anyways, um, I might put one more coat of like my regular epoxy over it. Just to make sure they don't turn yellow or anything. But... These are pretty much good to go. They're ready to use. I mean, that that's pretty crazy. I'm pretty excited for that. I can't wait to do more. I, I bought a big pack, but I only did four today, so. Now, the only tumbler that I didn't show you because we did four last week, the only tumbler I didn't show you is this one. This is what I ended up doing with this one. It, I was just experimenting. I, I don't know if I'm done with it yet. There might be a few more things I want to add to it, but that's how that turned out so far. I really like the navy, kind of like late navy leaves. I don't know if I want to add some more, something more to it, maybe over the leaves or something. So I'm not quite done with this one yet, but I got the other one started. I like how those are turning out. And I have to figure out what to do with the um, gray one too, so. All right, well, this Wednesday, September 1st, yeah, <laughs> my uh, next month's chaos box is going to be released. So if you guys are interested, you can go on to my website, socglitters.com, and you can go under my chaos box description, tap on that, and then you can read everything about my chaos box if you are interested in maybe getting a subscription or just purchasing one to see what my glitter is about. You know, it's a great way to kind of build your collection. I know we all love glitter, so, but if you guys are interested, this Wednesday, 8 p.m. my time, uh, Eastern Standard Time, and that's going to be available for everybody. But I still have a lot more to do. I have a ton of boxes left still to kind of put together and get my things together and all that and kind of prepare for this Wednesday. So I'm going to go inside. I'm going to do that. I have to get the kids fed and all that stuff. You know, all that fun stuff. Get them ready for school tomorrow. But I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. I hope you have an amazing rest of your week, and I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.